color is present wherever we look, but it can also influence our lives in many surprising ways. To discuss the effects of color, we must first ask the question, what is color? Let's start at the beginning. Our eyes detect light with structures known as rods and cones. While the rods detect black and white, the cones detect detail and color. The cones send the sensory info to the bipolar and ganglion cells, which then transmit the info to the optic nerve. Here, the info is passed on to the brain, where it is interpreted as color. She's coming in 12 fights. How does color affect us? Color can change how we perceive, make decisions, and even act. How could color possibly change how we perceive things? Well, what color comes to mind when you hear the word hot? If you're like most other Americans, you probably said red. When we see hot colors, we tend to think of action, warmth, aggression, and fear. It is for this reason that important road signs, such as stop signs, are red. The red causes a sense of urgency and alertness, so you are more likely to see a sign. Hurry boy, it's waiting there for you. So how does color affect our decisions? Simply seeing a certain color, when paired with another stimulus, can foster many ideas that may affect your decisions. If you've ever bought bread from the supermarket, you'll know that the packages they come in are usually gold or brown. This is because the color of the bag promotes ideas of freshness and flavor. This goes beyond just bread, however. Color is used everywhere to persuade you to spend your money. Take the color black. This color promotes ideas of complexity, which can make inexpensive products seem more valuable. Therefore, making you more likely to buy them. So how does color affect our actions? In 2000, the city of Glasgow, in Scotland, installed blue street lights in certain neighborhoods. The results? There were less reports of violence and crime in those specific neighborhoods. The color blue has been known to be soothing, stimulate clear thought, and aid concentration. Blue light on the streets most likely caused those wanting to commit crimes to act less aggressively and think more about the consequences of what they were doing. So does this mean we should go around changing all of our lights to blue? No. It turns out that the way color affects us can be strongly influenced by one's culture. For example, a study which used participants from the US, Poland, Mexico, Germany, and Russia found that people there generally associated red with anger. However, only Poles associated purple with anger and only Germans associated yellow with jealousy. This goes to show that while color affects all of us, it affects some of us differently than others. I the rains down in, Africa. in conclusion, colors play a major role in our day-to-day -day lives. They can influence the way we think, act, and make decisions. However, their effects can be somewhat limited by culture. Gotta take some time